wouldn't be a bit surprised if they have Wi-Fi up here. They keep telling me to keep moving forward, and I do. That's a cement block already. Black ducks, or geese rather, I would suspect. Everybody wants to stop and eat because any little bit of money that you leave is helpful. I did buy some gum. So now we're on our way out of the village towards Pinyon. Interestingly, a palm tree here actually feels tropical more and more here. <laughs> this person is doing is trying to sell me something and I don't buy ah. stuff. I wonder about the family that lives up there. It's a pretty little spot where they have channeled the water purposely along the terraces. I think the lady that was trying to sell me something is the second one there just passing up the hill past that tree. So I'm guessing that we rise out of here up over the top. This part pretty uninteresting right now. It might look great when the rice is in full bloom just before harvest. So I still have really no firm idea. I'm going the right way. Um, people keep telling me this is Ping An. I, I keep going Ping An, Ping An. I point and they go, yeah, yeah, Ping An, Ping An. But I haven't seen anybody coming the other way except in the village. And I haven't seen that tour group that was behind me. And the path is anything but really extraordinary. It's about the same. Okay, just like my tactic of swearing when something won't work and then it immediately starts working, I immediately. Down the steps came two Brits with their guide indicating that I'm on the trail to Ping On. And now at a little resting spot. Again, the views are not as spectacular as they were earlier. It's the sun shining, it's getting warm. I'm gonna stop here, take off my wet weather gear and my shorts extensions and continue in short. Okay, where we are now is inside of a, <clears throat> what looks to me like a geographical cup, if you will, inside these hills at the top. And the weather is apparently different enough that not only can they grow rice, but now they will grow corn here. And it looks like some other fruit, maybe some kind of melon over there. But like the Incas, they know exactly where anything will grow best. told me that farther on I can go to viewpoint number one and then beyond that to viewpoint number two. Very beautiful, very beautiful, she said. This part of the hike from that last village to uh, towards Pingyang is just a pleasant little hike through what may or may not be abandoned uh, terracing. I uh, met a couple of them from New Zealand. They had thought just to hike to this little village nearby, uh, but then decided they thought they might just go all the way, so I gave them my map since uh, they assured me that it was a pretty easy pathway from here to Ping An. Don't know if I've videoed these before, but they're a pretty fragile, pretty and fragile little flower. See, this part of the hike is pleasant, but just like any hike in many parts of the world, including the United States and Europe. It looks pretty obvious that at one time, for some reason, perhaps logging or something, this was an actual road. So this looks just like hiking in Cache Creek. Ah. Ah. Ni hao.
hidden in the foliage and undergrowth are more of those, I'll call them monuments, but I really think they're places where your family puts ashes. Now, why this one has all of this tinfoil on it, it looks like it's been heavily reworked, I don't know. Here's some kind of uh, tokens, faults, bills, unless they're bills. From, oh, I don't know what they are, but they look like money. Um, and then on the top here, stones, which may have been used simply to hold other pieces of paper there in the past, or may allude to a similar concept that the Jewish people have had of putting a stone on the top of a tombstone. And further on, you can see more of those monuments everywhere, the ones we looked at behind that hill. This looks like the overflow sluiceway. My guess is that what I'm standing on is a big dam um, designed to trap water for Ping An. Looks like it's just been finished. Now whether I go up that way to get out down this way and follow that trail, I don't know. That's my inclination. There are those two buildings over there, and I hiked from the left around and over to here. I heard some noise, maybe there's somebody over here. Inclination was correct, the gentleman told me. He didn't tell me that, I surmised it from the fact he said this direction to Pinyon. And I went that way, seeing a trail. I thought seriously it could just as easily be this way. I should have investigated it as well as this one a little bit, instead of going the long distance I went. Now it'll probably take me as much time, or just as much time, to get to Pinyon as it took me to go the wrong way and back. Good thing I'm in good health so far. Could well be that these are what I thought they were, uh, tourist shops on the way into Pinyon. Why didn't I pursue that idea? I don't know. I'll just follow the road. Can't think of anything else to do. This community does zero to provide any kind of signage. Now here, where only the retarded would not know that they were next to Pingyan Village is a sign. Problem with Pingyan is, as I can see it right from here, is there's so much tourist crap that you'll be hard pressed to get any kind of photos that don't include some tourist infrastructure junk. I'll use my telephoto lens to carefully excise out as much of the obvious tourist stuff as I can. Hands down, Dajai is infinitely better than here. Okay, here's a viewer that I can make that I can keep most of the tourist crap out of it. Very pretty place if this is all you're going to see and all you expect it. Oh. 
from here, which I think is Hepping, back up to Da Jai after coming down from Ping An being dropped off here and told the bus goes back up, which I'm kind of aware of. Um, it's taking a little bit longer than I thought for the bus, but probably because the one to Dai Jia is less frequent than Ping An since it's such an intense tourist area. Some guy tried to con me into a 40 UN ride on his motorcycle and dropped it down to 30. I'd offered to give him 20 and he didn't like that, so he's gone. An old man runs this uh, place, he and his wife, and there apparently is a crisis in there right now. I don't know what it is. They're taking the knives out of there anyway, so. It's that kind of a situation. What started out as piles of sand there and a big pile of rock there has been transformed into that cement pad there today. Um, and notice men and women work together. <coughs> and I'm back after a wicked day, a uh, blaster of a day. Started off tremendous and uh, was okay till about halfway through. <laughs> and then I started, uh, I started doing some things that caused some problems. And uh, anyway, it was a heck of a day. And then culminated by a last great adventure it was a long ride um, from Hepping to here on a motorcycle as it increasingly began to rain. This is the entrance to Da Jai, and it's about an eighth of a mile walk up to the town along a road with just a few shops, not the incredible concentrated cacophony of greed in Ping An. For this tour, if this town's benefit, and I'm sure they'll do it, and everybody else around here, this will develop just about as fast. Notice the size of this parking lot, very pregnant with capability, and they'll need to expand. All throughout these hills, I'm sure, are small little villages, some very, very tiny, just a few houses that take care of the terraces around them. Hey! 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 